And again, this is fine from Techiewing Villa. I hope you all are well. Today, I'm going to talk about the brand new TCL C745, which is an affordable budget level TV that offers plenty of features and an image that is bright with plenty of punch. If you are new in my channel, then please subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications and upcoming videos. I have another channel named Awesome Tech Gaming Pro where I upload similar kind of tech videos like TV comparison, sound system, home theater, graphics cards. You can check and subscribe. It does have the usual LCD technology traits of crowding and blooming when viewed off axis in dim surroundings. And the color and gamma shift is noticeable when not watching directly onto the screen. Plus, black levels can look raised in dim viewing conditions. However, used in a normal living room with some ambient lighting, the C745 is great value for money with very good gaming features. It is a fantastic option giving users access to the latest features, a choice of large screen sizes with decent HDR performance and fast input lag for even the most demanding of gamers. For all those reasons, it gets a recommended bears. The TCL C745 is an LED TV in the 2023 UK lineup that has a 4K LCD VFI panel with quantum dot technology using a full array local dimming backlight with 120 separate dimming zones controlled by an advanced algorithm. Its budget concert TV marketed at the mass market that features advanced gaming features including 2 HDMI 2.1 which is 48 gigabyte per second inputs with 144 hertz support which may well give it a chance of a plus on the best gaming TVs rundown in the affordable category. It also supports HD10, HD10+, HLG, IMAX Enhanced, Dolby Vision and Dolby Vision IQ, high dynamic range flavors as well features on OMQ sound system and support for Dolby Atmos and DTS audio. The TCL C745 is available in three screen sizes, starting with the 55 inch, which sells for an 650 euro. 65 inch TCL C745 priced 800 euro, and a massive 75 inch priced at 1100 euro. Image accuracy from the inclusion of IMAX enhanced mode for HD10 in this TV is good but there is a lack of a filmmaker mode for hd10 hd10 plus and hdr sources this tcls in house movie mode and true accurate to some degree when measured at 10 percent window sizes i'd like to see tcl joining the rest of the display industry in backing the usd filmmaker mode in future there are calibration controls and the means to dial in accuracy but at this price point there will be few who get the set professionally set up so we would encourage TCL to introduce accuracy out of the box with filmmaker mode in future one of the big attractions of the TCL C745 is the gaming potential with large screen sizes available at very reasonable price points the two full battery with 48 gigabyte per second HDMI 2.1 ports and the ability to run at maximum 4K 144 hertz with a gaming PC. With the latest generation of consoles, you get 4K 120 hertz, including Dolby Vision, AMD FreeSync Premium Pro, VRR support, auto low latency mode, and ER support on a separate HDMI 2.0 port. So you don't lose one of your 2.1 ports for a soundbar. There is also a gaming menu bar and decent input lag. The Google TV Smart Operating System is the same as on other smart TVs using the interface, but on the TCL here is no free will play or UK catch up services. As such, TCL UK has said that consumers can apply for a free Roku stick so they can access BBC iPlayer on other UK catch up apps. However, I've seen reports on AVF forums that Customers are not being offered this in practice. Just be aware of the shortcomings if you are interested in this TV and that you will be need to purchase a streaming stick for BBC iPlayer and other UK services. So with such a value for money proposition, does the TCL C745 manage to offer the performance to go with the promise? Well, this TV is made to a price point, but the build quality is decent with a mostly plastic chassis with some metal-like finishes used and it all feels well put together. The design is unremarkable and very traditional with a 
pedestal stand in the center and a rectangular panel with metal style edges. Around the back is a plastic cover with the connections, cable management and power input. The sideways facing connections include one USB 2.0 slot, a LAN, two HDMI 2.1, two HDMI 2.0 ports and an RF and satellite antenna optical digital to uh, there's a 3.5 millimeter AV in and a headphone jack. The provided remote control is a long black plastic unit with six white direct VOD buttons at the bottom and the main menu and directional keys in the center. It sits neatly in the hand and is intuitive to use, but you know you are using a budget level device. If you see the TCL C745 picture quality, it uses a VA LCD panel based on its black levels, narrow wind angles, and a native contrast ratio of 3500 is to 1. There's a direct LED backlight combined with quantum dot filters for a wider color gamut and a local dimming system for a superior contrast performance. There's a 120 dimming dimmable zones, and there's a choice of low and high settings. The low setting seemed to work best for HDR content, eliminating obvious dimming at around bright objects without dimming too aggressively but and does not crashing detail into the in the shadows. Switching to the movie mode improved matters, although not as much as we'd like. There was too much red in the gray scale and while the average error reduced to 4.9, that's still above the visible threshold of 3. On the plus side, the gamma tracked around 2.32, which is close to the target of 2.4, aside from the shift to rate caused by the gray scale. The overall color performance was good, with errors dropping to just over 3. TCL includes extensive calibration controls and using the 2-point white balance setting. A professional calibrator can quickly reduce the red energy in the gray scale, bringing the average error down to 1, which is well below the visible threshold. Correcting the gray scale also results in all the colors falling into the line, reducing the average error to below 1. This is an excellent level of accuracy for a TV in this price bracket. TCL offers number of picture modes along with the default standard and more accurate movie options, including Smart HDR, Sport, Game, and PC. Most of these are best avoided, especially Smart HDR, which is trying to turn HDR into something it isn't. But the game mode is important and will be addressed in the gaming section. I would also recommend turning off adaptive brightness in the intelligent picture sub menu because it causes luminance fluctuations. The screen uniformity on the review sample was good while the VA panel and local dimming proved highly capable even when displaying complex materials such as gravity with its bright white space source and inky black star fields. The dimming algorithm managed to avoid clipping the highlights or crushing the blacks and there was no obvious blooming when facing the screen directly. However, due to this being a VA panel, blooming was obvious when viewed at an angle. Overall, motion handling is excellent with it, the panel's 144 hertz refresh rate undoubtedly helping. There's no blurring on fast motion like sport and the C745 handles 24p content without introducing judder allowing movies to retain a film-like quality. The video processing and upscaling are also impressive, with C745 doing a great job of upscaling lower resolution content to match its 4K panel, and the processing helping to minimize any nasty artifacts in heavily compressed streaming material or low-quality digital TV channels. The TCL C745 supports every version of HDR, HDR10, HLG, I mean hybrid log gamma, HD 10 plus and Dolby Vision, which means you will never have to compromise and the dynamic metadata in HD 10 plus and Dolby Vision allows the TV to produce some genuinely impressive tone mapping. TCL claims a peak brightness of 1000 CD per meter square, but in testing 
I only reached about 620 CD per meter square on a 10% window. Although the brightness peaked at 825 CD per meter square on a 50% window before falling back down to 634 CD per meter square on a full field flight pattern. The gray skin is accurate and the tracking against the HD target curve is excellent ensuring highlights are clipped and blacks are free of crash. The use of quantum dot filters enables the C745 to cover 94% of the DCAP3 color gamut, which is decent result. The colors are also closely hit the targets at various saturation points, ensuring that the pictures look natural while also retaining a pleasing degree of pop. In terms of raw measurements, this is an impressive HDR performance for a TV at this price. When first detecting an HDR10 signal, the TV defaults to IMAX for some reason, but I would recommend switching to the more accurate to movie picture mode, which offers an extensive choice of picture controls. One of these settings is dynamic tone mapping, and while there's a strike of options, the default balance setting attempts to deliver the best overall performance. When it receives a Dolby Vision signal, the TV defaults to the IQ option, which adjusts the tone mapping based on the measurements from a light meter. It's more sophisticated approach compared to the adaptive brightness control offer with HDR content. Still, viewers might prefer to use the Dolby Vision dark picture mode at night, thus retaining the original artistic intentions. When moving on to the actual viewing material, the C745 continued to impress, rendering the fine detail in native 4K content with commendable skills. The tone mapping was also impressive with HDR10, and even better when dealing with HD 10 Plus and Dolby Vision. Since all streamers use one of these formats, as do a lot of 4K Blu-rays, this TV has you covered. The chase through Rome in Fast X looks fantastic with the sun-lit streets and brightly colored cars really popping with vivid details. The glinting chrome really shines without losing detail in the highlights and the action looks more impactful. At the other end of the spectrum, the 4K disc of 1917 includes a scene at night in a burning village and the blackness of the sky juxtaposes vividly with the bright flames, while detail is nicely retained within the shadows. If you see the TCL C745 gaming performance, it's an absolute better as gaming TV, partly because of all the strengths already mentioned. The excellent HDR and HDR performance, along with support for all the current HDR formats, ensures bright, accurate, and detailed images when gaming. TCL's Game Master Pro brings a host of gaming-specific features to the C745, kicking off with auto low latency mode, which detects a video games consoles and automatically switches into the game mode. This is important because in the game mode, the input lag drops to anywhere from 13.2 to 5.7 milliseconds, depending on the resolution and frame rate of the game. These lightning fast response time are even more impressive when combined with 4K 120 hz high frame rate and variable refreshed gaming. The result is a wonderfully smooth and engaging gaming experience. If you have a PC gaming rig, you can even play at refresh rates up to 444 hours and there's support for AMD FreeSync Premium Pro. TCL has added pop-up gaming hub that provides information on the TV's gaming status such as LLM, VRR, frame rate and HDR. There are also various useful features available including the ability to take screenshots, adjust the shadow levels, and activate an aiming aid. Additionally, there's quick access to the game picture modes and the menus. Since the C745 uses an LCD panel, there's no danger of image retention or screen burning when gaming for long periods of time, and the overall gaming performance is superb thanks to the low input lag, detailed 4K images, and buttery smooth high frame rate motion.
The color gamut is punchy and the HD tone mapping is accomplished, making this is a cracking TV for gamers. The TCL C745 uses a pair of downward firing full range speakers, each of which has 15 watt of built-in identification. The sound quality is reasonably good considering the TV's dimensions and screen size with a clean delivery, some nice detail and a degree of stereo separation. However, there's little in the way of mass extension and the audio can sound strange at higher volumes. More an intelligent sound feature with an adaptive volume option and a 7-band equalizer and the C745 also supports Dolby Atmos and DTS Virtual X with the latter being something of a rarity on TVs these days. While both are welcome, they can't work miracles with only two downward firing speakers, but at least they give the audio a greater feeling of dimensionality. The sound quality is best described as perfunctory. It gets the job done, but anyone looking for a delivery that has a scale, a real sense of Immersion with movies and games should consider pairing the C745 with a Dolby Atmos soundbar that includes upward firing drivers for a genuine overhead effects and a separate subwoofer for deeper and more powerful box extension. So finally I will say TCL C745 is a budget superstar offering large screen sizes and impressive features at very affordable prices. The overall EMS performance is generally very good with both HDR and HDR and while the movie mode could be more accurate out of the box and the TV isn't quite as bright as claimed, the pictures produced are detailed, vibrant and punchy. On top of that, the TCL is a fantastic choice for gamers with every enhancement imaginable and an incredibly low input lag. So if you love movies and gaming but your farms are limited, the TCL C745 might be just the ticket. So what's your thought about this TCL C745? Please write in the comments below. That's it from now.